let you now rise for the national anthem. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2017 National Honor Society induction ceremony here at Cherokee High School. I'm proud to introduce myself as Ethan Lacey, this year's president of the Cherokee chapter of the National Honor Society. Thank you all for taking the time to participate in this momentous occasion. We'd like to take this time to thank Dr. Birnbaum, superintendent of the schools for the Lenape Regional High School District, and all our parents and family of the inductees for attending our ceremony tonight. Our inductees have also invited a memorable teacher to attend the ceremony with them tonight. We would like to everyone to know that there are photo opportunity stations in the North Main Gym for inductees, their families, and the most memorable teachers to take photos after the ceremony. And at this time, I would like to invite our North Principal out to the podium, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Charlesworth. Good evening. It is an honor and a privilege to recognize those who continue the tradition of excellence that is the hallmark of Cherokee High School. Tonight, we celebrate and congratulate our inductees on their membership into Cherokee's chapter of the National Honor Society. Congratulations are also in order for our families, friends, and teachers, without whom some of these accomplishments may not have been possible. In addition to commending our inductees and their parents, we wanted to share this honor with a teacher who made a difference in the educational lives of our inductees. With us tonight, we have over 40 teachers, ranging from first grade teachers to high school. At this time, would all our teachers, counselors, and coaches please stand? On behalf of our students, thank you for taking a hand, for opening a mind, and touching a heart. President John F. Kennedy once said, to those who much is given, much is expected. Membership into the National Honor Society is not something that is achieved and forgotten. It is more than just a college resume builder or a stole at graduation or a certificate tonight. It represents a set of fundamental virtues that should guide your high school career. Tonight, we have the honor of inducting 140 of our students 
into this prestigious society that represents the very best of what high school is about. An honor such as this is a magnificent way for our school and the community to recognize the choices and sacrifices each of you have made in order to achieve this level of success. So it is with great Cherokee pride I congratulate you and your families. Tonight, we acknowledge our teachers, we salute our parents, and we honor our chiefs. Congratulations. And now I'd like to inter in in invite our district superintendent to the podium, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Birnbaum, superintendent of schools for the Lenape Regional High School District. Good evening. On behalf of the Lenape Regional High School District Board of Education and Administration, I'd also like to congratulate you on this great honor. Um, please join me in welcoming two of our Board of Education members who are here to help us celebrate. To my left, we have Mrs. Bonnie Olt. <laughs> and next to her, we have Mr. Barry Fitzgerald. Tonight we'll be formally inducting our National Honor Society students, um, something that's been going on since 1921. And it's really just more than just an honor roll of good grades. Uh, each of you demonstrated that you excel outside of the classroom. And we say, uh, as a student, you have the whole package. Um, and I believe that what should make you and your parents really the most proud is not the title of inductee, but rather you should be proud of what you had to do to get inducted into the National Honor Society. Um, the four pillars of the National Honor Society, which will be described later in the program, really do represent the core of living a fulfilling life. Two things about that, right? A life that expects the best from yourself, but then also using your best to help others. To be accomplished in achieving the grades that you do, being a leader, participating in community service, and having excellent character has its challenges, as Mrs. Charlesworth said, and sacrifices. And I'm sure the toughest challenge is most likely that you had to not take the easy way out of some very tough situations. You don't have to be class president to be a leader. All of you have demonstrated leadership. In fact, today I had the pleasure of sitting uh, with a handful of our Cherokee student leaders and uh, they were able to point out ways that they are leaders in this school with really out, without having the label of leader. So students, you are leaders. Maybe in the classroom, you're the first one to always lead a group discussion. Maybe in your club or program, you have great ideas and you're a great listener. Maybe you're always positive and you take initiative when your group needs to make a decision. Maybe you decided not to drink at a party and others notice and follow you. Maybe you're comfortable defying the issue, and as Chris Heron would say, you're just happy being you. Whether you thought of yourself as a leader before or not, or possessing particular great character or not, now you are singled out as a leader at Cherokee, and we will want you to uphold the National Honor Society code for the rest of the school year. So this achievement is more than the recognition I said earlier. It's the path that you need to take to get here tonight and it's the path that you will continue to take for the rest of the year, but also the rest of your career here at Cherokee. And as you form these good habits now, these great traits will carry you through for the rest of your life. So you are on a great path, so just stay the course, and I know that you will get the most out of life by staying true to yourself and recognizing the greatness in the others around you. So with this entire cohort of students who excel academically with great leadership, integrity, and service for others, I am really excited about the great things that they will be bringing to our society. So I hope you and your family members enjoy this night. And on behalf of the District Administration and Board of Education, again, congratulations on this excellent achievement. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Birnbaum. Tonight's ceremony is held to honor those of you who have been chosen to represent Cherokee's chapter of the National Honor Society. As new members of this prestigious group, you are now expected to uphold the pillars which form the foundation of the National Honor Society, leadership, service, scholarship, and character. Thus far, you have proven yourselves to excel in not one, but all four of these categories. 
You form a minority of well-balanced individuals who are truly among the best and brightest that Cherokee High School has to offer. The National Honor Society is more than a club or a title. It stands for the values which should guide you through the remainder of your time here and continue to influence you after graduation day. The immediate years ahead symbolize a truly significant time for each of you. For many, it will be the first time you are asked to make long-term decisions regarding colleges, majors, and career. It is also a time when you will be faced with moral and ethical decisions. These choices may be even more difficult, yet they are the ones which will truly define who you are as a person. Is your choice which path to take? You are seated before me tonight because you have managed to find the right one. I implore each of you to remain on that path and make choices that will sculpt your future for honor and success. Each of you holds the potential to achieve greatness. You may not have realized your calling yet, or maybe you think you have, but regardless, Continue to go through life with an open mind. Continue to take advantage of the everyday opportunities to contribute to our community, to our school, and to your own success. Be resilient. Do not let one's failure to become your demise. In time, you will achieve your, great, your definition of greatness. Through determination and perseverance, our generation can tackle whatever problems society throws at us. Enjoy your successes. As mem members of NHS, I know you've all had your fair share. But remember to support your friends, family, and classmates and their successes as well. One's own intelligence and talent are worthless if one cannot share in the happiness of others. Know that together you can lead and serve with honor and dignity and have a significant and positive impact on the world. In the worlds of Walt Disney, it's kind of fun to do the impossible. At this time, I would like to briefly explain the selection process that bring this honor to the inductees. First, the candidate must have a cumulative unweighted scholastic average of 3.25 or weighted average of 4.875 as of June of his or her, her sophomore or June of his or her junior year. Second, the candidate is reviewed by the Selection Committee on Character, Leadership, and Service. The Selection Committee consists of five voting faculty members. In order to review the candidates, the Selection Committee carefully considers the students' information forms as well as recommendations from teacher staff or Cherokee staff and administration. The NHS advisors and current members extend a special thanks to our selection committee who give their utmost consideration to each candidate. The students whose names we will be calling have been offered the privilege of membership into our chapter of the National Honor Society. They excel not only academically, but in terms of character, leadership, and service to both their school and their community. At this time, the 2016-17 NHS officers will introduce themselves and share their thoughts that exemplify the qualities of the National Honor Society. Good evening. My name is Kyle Scott, and I'm a member of this year's Executive Board of National Honor Society. I light the first candle for leadership. It is. The first pillar of National Honor Society is leadership. A leader is someone who is hardworking, determined, encouraging to others, sets good examples for their peers, and someone who pushes themselves and others to be the best they can be. Leaders step forward when things are difficult and take on challenges that others may shy away from. You do not need to be the captain of a sports team or the smartest kid in class to be a leader. <laughs> someone who is doing the right thing, even when it's a tough choice, is a leader. Whether it be on the sports field, in a club, in a classroom, or outside of school, you have all shown that you possess this invaluable quality. You have all shown that you work hard, help others, and set positive examples for all of your peers. Congratulations, and continue to lift others with you as you rise. Good evening. I'm Kelsey Wallace, one of the members of the executive board of this year's National Honor Society. I light the second candle for scholarship. Scholarship. It is defined as learning or the knowledge acquired by study, yet there is much more to it than that. It is not just taking notes in class, studying them a day or two in advance for the test, and getting a solid A to prove your mastery of the information. While it may be satisfying to see that in Genesis, it is just temporary. 
Scholarship is about discovering our academic passions and pursuing them relentlessly. It is about finding our weaknesses and turning them into strengths. It is about realizing that our true potential is far beyond what we can even imagine, as long as we are willing to invest the effort. It is about understanding that we need to grow our minds and seek out new things to learn more rather than confirm our understanding of what we already know. Inductees, you may think that you are approaching your final years as scholars, but, you, but really it has just begun. My hope for all of you, if you haven't already, is to one day find that thing that sets your heart on fire and fuels your mind to explore, to learn, and to understand. The education that you have been provided by the incredible teachers here at Cherokee has provided you for the rest of your academic endeavors and beyond. Continue your lives as the scholars you are, learning from each new experience and idea you encounter. As B.B. King said, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. Good evening. I'm Nick Kadrusaniu, one of the members of the executive board for this year's National Honor Society. I light the third candle for service. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines service as contribution to the welfare of others. To those of you who sit in front of me, I know you believe that it means much more to you than that. For many of you, the other pillars of NHS, scholarship, leadership, and character have been part of your everyday life for a very long time. But when the time came to demonstrate service, it required many of you to step outside of your comfort zone and express yourselves in ways that were completely new to you. From volunteering at animal shelters to volunteering at retirement homes, many of you have had experiences that differ widely from your peers and those are what have helped shape you into who you are today. As Muhammad Ali once said, service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. Continue to give your time towards helping the community because your effort can affect those less fortunate than you. By becoming National Honor Society members, not only are you being recognized for previously demonstrating the pillars of NHS, but you're promising to continue to uphold these pillars in your everyday life. I congratulate you on your acceptance into the National Honor Society, and I hope to see many of you continue to stand out in the community. Good evening. I'm Haley Foglia, one of the members of the executive board on this year's National Honor Society. I light the fourth candle for character. To Oxford Dictionaries, character is the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual. To Merriam-Webster, character is one of the attributes or features that make up and distinguish an individual. To me, character is not just one trait, but the core of who we are. Dennis Prager once said, goodness is about character, integrity, honesty, kindness, generosity, moral courage, and the like. More than anything else, it is how we treat other people. It is something you cannot indicate explicitly, but is shown underneath all the exceptional grades, variance of clubs, and abundance of service hours. Character is the choices that you make when no one else is watching. It isn't you on your very best day, but the decency you have on your worst day. Inductees, you are all sitting here today because you've demonstrated character in the services you've completed, the activities you've participated in, and the academic achievements you've earned. Character is the only pillar that is portrayed in all the other pillars. It is the foundation of leadership, scholarship, and service. Although there is no special criteria or specific requirement for character, there is a mutual agreement for the National Honor Society standards, and you have all surpassed them. As you continue your journey throughout the rest of high school and in life, always carry out your character in the best way possible. You never know the depths of your impact that your character has on other people. As a new a National Honor Society member, my hope is for you that you have your character and it flo flourishes without end. Congratulations on being inducted into the National Honor Society and never forget that your character should always prosper.
at this point, we'll be introducing our un inductees. And Garrett Clark will be doing that. <laughs> Hello, I am Garrett Clark and I am the Vice President of the Executive Board for the National Honor Society. Inductees, please come up to the stage when your name is called. Parents and friends, we ask that you hold your applause until all the inductees have been introduced. Christopher Decker. Brianna De La Cruz. Grace Henderson. Kylie Tobin, Russell Abadi, Christopher Ambrose, Ian Aquino, Iris Archer, Alexis Armstrong. Julia Bolton, Madeline Ball, Sarah Binder, Gregory Basales, Mallory Bullard, Gabriella Calderon. Claudia Carbajal, Michael Castellano, Isabella Sarasso, Rachel Cherry, Robin Choi, Carolyn Christie. Colin Christie, Joseph Kalachi, Nicholas Colucci, Kira Connolly, Leah Conover, Kaylee Corrado. Megan Carell, Grace Cosgrove, Jennifer Costella, Lauren Kramer, Luke Dioria, Christopher Damarau. Aiden Daniels, Halligan Dare, Dylan DeLarso, Rachel DePrado, Jack Del Vecchio, Anthony DeCaro. Mackenzie Dooney, Aiden Douglas, Gaurav Trevita, Laura Duffy, Mark Ebner, Kenzie Aldaba, Allison English. Trevor Atkins, James Fell, Kyle Ferguson, Timothy Fishbein, Kelly Foley, Elise Forcier, Brooke Forrest, Lauren Fowler, Jesse Gage, Gabrielle Glenning, 
Alana Gold. Jessica Gold. Tori Graves. Dante Grilly. Emma Grizzle. Ian Gunner. Maggie Hamilton. Gregory Hazen. Lauren Hollis. Asher Hong. Daniel Hong. Kohler Housel. Marissa Howard. Labiba Islam. David Jackson. Palak Jane. Samantha Johnson. Emily Capenzi. Alex Cobb. Ashley Keen. Julia Kemley. Hannah Kent. Brianna King. Emily Kramer. Mia Crotchman. Michael Kurtz. Bryn Lafferty. Spencer Lane. Jordan Lee. Vicki Lee. Colin Mahoney. Lauren Marmo. Rayla Marsh. Rachel Martin. Nicholas Mascalo. Madison McDaniel. Jillian McGovern. Tyler Megan. Millie Meta. Anna Messina. Taylor Miles. Walter Miller. Caitlin Morgan. Shweta Nair. Cole Norris. Gabrielle O'Keefe. Harrison Olt. Matthew Orth. Joshua Ortiz. Judy Pan. Sanjana Panjala. Ayushi Parikh. Prachi Patel. Madison Patton. Elizabeth Ferris. Mackenzie Rabenowitz. Shivani Rawit. Adam Remininski. Stella Reginos. Elizabeth Romano. Kara Rosner. Neha Shah. Sophia Shannon. Ashna Sharavia.
Alan Siegel. Danielle Siriani. Taylor Slade. Caroline Small. Orly Smith. Blake Sokol. Robert Salido. Jaden Stith. Cassie Streb. Victoria Taglia Faro. Alish Tracy. Maggie Trompe. Thomas Vasallo. Maximus Boro. Colin Wagner. Madison Weaver. Rebecca Weiner. Jillian Westerby. Allison Yokum. Sufian Zacharia. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2017 National Honor Society inductees. I ask now that all the NHS inductees and officers please stand. Please join me once again in a round of applause for all our new inductees. It's in the script, what can I do? It's there. All right. So now we are going to recite the National Honor Society Pledge after me. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I'll be loyal to my school. And I will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Close enough. <laughs> I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected, striving in every way by word and deed to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. Congratulations to all our new members. Our South Principal, Mr. Ionelli, will now end the ceremony with his closing remarks. In closing, on behalf of myself and the entire Cherokee faculty, I want to congratulate all the inductees for their accomplishments and for entering the prestigious National Honor Society. I also want to congratulate all the parents for the excellent job that you are doing. It is certainly a moment to be proud. I'd also like to thank our dedicated NHS advisors, Mrs. Ormsby, Mr. Rojak, Mr. Lee, for all of their efforts. Students, you are the best and the brightest. Our hope is that you'll remain lifelong learners, continue to be leaders, and to be active members of the community. While you have made great decisions on your path to NHS, I urge you to continue to do so and divide the issue and continue to say no to drugs and alcohol. 
I also encourage you to continue to embrace Cherokee's core values of accountability, integrity, and respect. So final note, the North Gym is set up to allow everyone to gather and take pictures with family members and invited guests. Also, copies of tonight's production are available for purchase at chieftv.org. This concludes this evening's program. Thank you very much.